iBank offers powerful reporting and budgeting features based on categorizing your transactions, but often a single transaction requires multiple categories. Split transactions allow you to itemize your transactions so that categories can be assigned to smaller parts of those transactions. A good example of a transaction you'd need to split is if you made some purchases at a grocery store, and in addition to groceries, you bought some items for home improvement and some office supplies. Create a transaction in the account from which you paid for this. Set its type, in this case I wrote a check, and enter the date, payee, and memo. Don't enter an amount just yet. Open the splits table and give the first split item an amount in the expense column. Write a memo and then assign that expense a category. Add additional split items for each different transaction by clicking the plus and filling in the information. Each one should be assigned to the appropriate category and have its amount recorded in the expense field. Once you've finished recording all deductions, save the transaction. Now the transaction is split properly and all of the itemized expenses are categorized appropriately so that you can track them with reports and budgets. Another good example of a transaction you'd need to split is with a paycheck. Create a transaction in the account where your paycheck is being deposited. Set its type to deposit and enter the date, payee, and memo. Don't enter an amount just yet. Open the splits table and give the first split item an amount equal to your gross pay. Be sure to record this in the income field. Assign it to the salary category or whatever category you prefer to use for tracking your income. Add a split item for each deduction that is taken out of your pay. Transfers to other accounts, for example 401k contributions, can be recorded by specifying the name of the destination account in the split item category field. Once you have finished recording all deductions, save the transaction. You should see that the main transaction amount represents the deposit of your net pay into the current account and all of the deductions are categorized appropriately so that you can track them with reports and budgets. For more information on this topic, see Split Transactions in the iBank Help Files.